Hi guys, uh, today I am going to flip through this book with you. It's my third sketchbook. These are the other two. I have already made videos about these and you can see them on my YouTube channel. Ooh, it's the preview. I don't know what you're seeing right now. Okay, and this one too. Um, let's get started. So, let's get started with book number three. The blue one. Okay. First page is empty because I'm afraid of the first page. It has to be really pretty. So I just skipped it. And then there's this thing. Kind of different from what I normally do. When you flip it over, like uh, this guy looks really grey from the outside. She can see into his soul or something. <laughs> but he's really colourful inside, you see? And this guy, he looks really colourful on the outside, but inside he's pretty empty, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I did these in the train to Amsterdam, which is a pretty long train ride. So I had some time, and I also made this one there. It's uh, about a little over an hour, I think. And I never finished this sketch. It's, uh, it should have been different people cycling in the no, same person cycling in different weather but anyway I'm complaining about it <laughs> because that's what I do I complain about the weather when I'm cycling I'm Dutch so I cycle every day uh, yeah some faces in different angles not an unfinished sketch I was a bit stuck in my, my creative experience over here is it still? but so I tried some new things and I don't like all of them, but yeah, what can I say? I did this one in the park, so uh, together with some mix, and I really like drawing outside. These were also in the park, and I think the next one also, yeah. This was, by the way, in spring. When I did these, uh, late spring, early summer, this is a naked person, as you can see. I did a figure drawing class, which I really enjoyed, so I practiced some more with it, because drawing naked people is fun. And a hand with some snow starry things. This was my favorite cup from when me and my mother and my sister went to friends to do a pottery course, which was really fun. And in the afternoon we'd always drink tea with these really beautiful and made cups over there. Yeah. I, I didn't draw that much in that those holidays. That holiday, it was only one. <laughs> but then and after that I went to Finland to visit my friend Emma and I put uh, this brush that brush is uh, in my bag and it kind of broke <laughs> because I wasn't careful with it but I fixed it now with a piece of tape and uh, yeah it's kind of okay and this is a selfie and it's very blurry in the mouth because I didn't wait for the water to dry and then you get that my friend Emma, which I was visiting, who lives in Finland, which I have already said, <laughs> she gave me this fun cup by Arabia, Finland, as you can see. Um, and I really like it, so I drew some things inspired by it. These uh, little animals and stuff. I don't really like this one, but it's the idea of a sketchbook. Not everything has to be pretty. Uh, these are some plants I drew, which I don't really like. I think they're a bit too childish, but... This would be a really cute fabric for skirts or t-shirt or something. In my opinion. Oh, I also really like this one. It's a uh, reddish. Although reddishes are like smaller in real life. <laughs> it's cute. And these are peas. Which we ate all the time in Finland. And it's really nice and reminds me of summer and good times with my friend. 
Mm, this is a beetroot. I was into drawing vegetables, so I also drew a beetroot. Beet, beet root. And these are some pots and pans which you can get in the vintage shops in Finland. But they're really cute, with, uh, especially like the white ones with the vegetable prints. And yeah, but they're kind of expensive. So I just look at them and I paint them, and that's enough for me. And these are, I was still in my uh, vegetable drawing period, I think. So I made a beet, no, reddish printed dress. It is really cute. This is one of my favorite drawings, like, all time. <laughs> and, yeah, it's just a girl dancing with some braids and cute. And then I did another one with uh, eggplants. I don't like this one as much. Ooh. <coughs> um, Emma's grandparents live in this house and it's really pretty and it's very old and it's on an island and there's all these gorgeous plants around it it's really marvelous inside as well and this is their greenhouse with a drawing of me yeah, it's really cool This is Emma in the forest. I <laughs> put a lot of time in making this background. And some flowers. Oh yeah, when I was painting this we were on uh, the island of the summer house of Emma's parents. And it was really lovely as well. And some lot of teapots. And snail. This is a cute snail, I think. And I was uh, making this and I didn't like it. So I put a flag with hashtag nope on it and I just flipped the page and tried again. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did this uh, study of a glass of water with a spoon light and it was really fun and challenging to draw translucent things. Yeah which you probably know if you have tried to draw them it's kind of hard and I really like this one as well it's also on my art wall which you might have seen in the previous shop and I didn't really like that one Ooh. Uh, me and my boyfriend Tim were kayaking um, we went on a week long kayaking trip and we traveled quite some distance and on the island where we slept there were blueberries that, well there are blueberries everywhere in Finland bilberries, not blueberries, bilberries and we like to eat them a lot so I drew blueberries with blueberry juice as paint which is a little fun, uh, bilberry, bilberries and these are some cave drawing inspired things because there was a cave with a drawing that we visited it was only this guy and it was really hard to find but it was really old so it's kind of cool and these are some cute houses because the houses in Finland are really cute and then I was on my flight back sadly <laughs> to the Netherlands where I live and we, I got this cup with a, from Mary Mecco print on it and I thought it was cool so I painted it and then I made two other designs and then I was home and I painted this and I, oh I really like this one it's called Numbered Noses which is what it is Nose with Numbers Yeah, I like sunflowers. I don't like this one. This was um, an illustration I made uh, to go with the poem by Sel Silverstein, which is my favorite poem. It goes something like this. She had blue skin and so did he. He kept it hid and so did she. 
We searched for blue their whole life through, then passed right by and never knew. Which I think is a really beautiful poem. It's a... If you don't show who you are, you're never gonna find somebody who's like you. Because he's hiding it too, or she. And now you're gonna notice it. So, if you like art, for example, and you want to find other people who like art to be friends with, you are going to have to say to people, Hey, I like art. So they can tell you if they like it too. Even if you feel a little awkward with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Some more portraits. I like drawing portraits. Do it a lot. And some um, kind of weird hand <laughs> with a lot of paint over it because I didn't really like it. And I like this one. It's drawn uh, after a photo. And I called it the Tea Drinkers. <laughs> I use photo reference sometimes. Uh, yeah, some of the yeah, but most times I do it from my head. And uh, this is a bottle they sell at IKEA, which I really like. And desk with a lamp. I like lamps. I draw lamps. On it. No, not that much, but I like them. This one is inspired by Philippa Rice by her book Soppy. Um, it's just really cute, and she uses only black and um, red in there, and I liked that, and I was inspired, and it was September, and it was raining all the time, so I drew this to remind myself it's not bad, it's just what happens in September. <laughs> and this is a picture of me and my boyfriend, I like him. <laughs> And the desk with the lamp. I told you I like lamps. And more naked people. And another lamp. And semi naked people. It sucks. I like these. Mm -hmm. And a squirrel and a sweater and a dancing girl. And the last stage is an impression of how, what it's like to ride a bicycle in September when it's raining and windy and your hair is in your face and it's kinda dangerous because you're crossing the roads while you can't see anything so anyway that was book 3 I hope you like it please tell me in the comments which was your favorite drawing and hope to see you next time bye